Hey hi, welcome to the final part, the part 4 video of creating a device backup tool using Telnet Live date, time and OS module. If you haven't seen the previous parts, I have left the link for them in the description box. Please check that out. Also the slides and program code used in this video is also available in the description as a link. Okay, let's get into the video. Next, where else we can have this, where it will be good to have. Let's scroll down a bit. Okay, here, right? Even here, there is chances an exception can happen, correct? So now, what if an exception happens in this case? That basically it means a router is down, right? We are not able to tell it to the router for some reason. Maybe an underlying network reachability issue or the router itself is down. So let's just create the error in a descriptive way here. So first, uh, as usual, let's copy from here. That will be better, I think. So, so first we will have the date time and then we will have a space in and then we will have the error. Next, we will mention, so let's insert it here. Next, we will also mention what device is this IP is host that is the host IP okay and then once we created a error and saved it into this error variable we will open the file now let's copy from there we will open the file it sh uh -uh. no no it should be in the indent in the indentation should be correct here so now so what should we write into the file? We have to write the error itself, correct. And then let's have this continue. And where else? Yeah, let's write one at the end of the program. So when the program ends, let's write some log into the file stating that the program have ended successfully, something like that. So we open the file at the end of the program and then let's write okay success not at the program end you see I'm still inside the for loop so for after every device what I should write into the file so successfully created backup for the host at what time backup no, no let's not let's not have the time just let's mention backup name so what does this say is if this uh, if, if we see in the backup log right it will sh it will show like uh, successfully created backup for 192.168.122.10 uh, at location slash home slash whatever we discussed earlier right it will show in a very descriptive way okay where else? I think that's it. Uh, that's that's enough for now. Okay. So currently, let's have a look at the backup logs. It's so clean, clear, and uh, let let me also show you the backup which we have taken already. Right. So what do we expect to see now? Uh, it opened. Okay. I don't want it to open. So. What do we expect to see now? Okay, when I click it gets opened. Okay, fine, no problem. So what do we expect to see now? The folder 2027-12 is already created. So we, we will be seeing an exception. We will hit an exception in this place where... Let me minimize this. Here, right? We, the program will try to create the directory. So it will hit an exception stating that the path is already existing. So we will be able to see a backup log generated at this stage stating that uh, the file is already available the folder or the directory is already available next what we will be seeing is we will be seeing two more files getting generated for 10 and 30 but it will be with the same date the host name right the name of the file if you see it will be 122.10 same date but with a different time so it will get it will also get appended to the same folder so we should be able to see two more files let's go to the terminal window and then execute our program so we are in the terminal window and we are at the right directory 
so yeah let's execute the program so you see here file exist this is the error okay so backup completed for device so the program got executed so let's go back to atom so we are back in atom let's do this and you see we have two more files right for dot 10 and dot 30 but both of them are at a different time so one was at 142 the other one was at 155 this was the one this is the latest one which we have just taken just now if you see my screen it's 156 this is the one we have taken just now so that also has the backup block let me collapse this again let's close this this is not needed this is our pi script now we go to our backup log uh oh nothing is there okay there is a problem so if you see there is a typo my file name is backup logs it's a capital l that's a miss from my end sorry guys so it should be capital l so let me see if i can do a control h here no so i have to change it manually give me a sec backup logs so you have to be very careful with the capital letters usage that's why i prefer to do every everything small but uh, i have done a mistake this time so better we will in our future videos we will try to keep it all lowercase so i think i have changed no they are not here so i think yeah i think i have changed everywhere so let's go back to the let's do one thing uh, it's not a problem let it be there so we already have four so we will see two more right so let's go back to our terminal and then execute the program again so we are in the terminal so let's execute the program again backup completed for one device backup completed for the second device yes it is completed let's go back to the atom text editor now in the atom text editor let's collapse sorry expand the window you see now we have six files we have the third file it, it, it was just created 158 okay let's collapse this again let's go to the backup blocks now this is what we are expecting right so a program started okay again a typo it should have been started right okay no problem we'll change it so program started a device ip list created and at this time 2020 7 12 158 error occurred what does the error say the file already exists and then it also says it successfully created a backup for this device and also successfully created a backup for the other device and i think there is a miss here right so we expect this to write right write the error into this not this this one for dot 20 it will not it was not able to log into the device properly correct so it should have hit this error and uh, written the error here why it haven't done so do we see an error here or do we not yeah it's there you see there is a error which stay which says that no route to host basically i'm not able to reach 192 168 122 but it got written along with the same line because we did a mistake somewhere we did a mistake somewhere in the successfully created place yes 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 slash n is very important guys and uh, successfully and uh, program started right this is where we done a typo 
program started so i hope everything is clear now so let's go back to the terminal execute this program one more time so we are in the terminal execute it again hope everything will be pakka this time let's see go back to the atom let's scroll here you see yeah pakka program started for the day at device ip list created and at this time a file exist error happened exception happened and then i was successfully able to create backup for this ip and the and the backup is saved at this location you see here let me scroll slow so this is where inside this folder with this name the text file is created and then i am not able to reach to this device there is an error happened and then i am able to create successfully for 122.30 i think we are done with this for now hope this is informative and helpful check the description for the video materials and slides and the code itself thanks for watching like share and subscribe let's learn together